Welcome to another video of machine learning do it yourself tutorials. In the previous video, we talked about regression models, regression trees, in which we were able to generate regression trees using some data set. Let's discuss more about regression trees in this exercise. This is the function for regression trees R part. The target predictors data equals data set. And this is what we did not do in the previous video, the method parameter. Now, the text in green are the keywords while the text in white can be changed as per you know what your data set is there are different types of methods in the parameters which you can go and add as part of regression trees first one is class it's categorical classification of data we're going to see class in our exercise ANOVA, which is a continuous very values, any values like fuel mileage, um, other values like the the pressure, the tire pressure, and stuff like that. Even in our case, um, the spend can be a continuous value as well. But spend for us is a target. Question based on counts of values, like count of employees which who are sorry count of people who are employed and stuff like that this is the count of any variable which can drive this poison and exp is another type of a method which is exponential based on survival method i think we we will put out put it out of scope for now so we are going to discuss three class anova and poison Let's do some hands on. Extending from our previous video, I'm going to read the file and create a data frame as we have been doing in last few videos. Here in this syntax, I'm adding method equal to class. Now I'm going to add two more models for one for Python and another for ANOVA. Execute it. Choose library. Let's plot each and every model for class ANOVA and poison separately one at a time that is how a part for class looks like you can see it's divided into two classes income 6.25 62.5 yes and no This is Nova Nova and 
and this looks like poison. Now let's see which model can predict the best for your data set. So I'm going to have all the three models predicted. Now let's evaluate which model is best suited for your data. In order to evaluate which model suits the best, I'm going to create a function to calculate mean square error. Mean square error should be lower or lesser in value. Mean square error gives the difference between the actual and the predicted value. So let's see how you write a function. This is a function for mean error. It takes in actual and predicted as input values and it calculates mean of abstract of actual minus predicted. Now let's see how you can use this function to calculate and evaluate these three models. Here I'm passing actual value which is income data frame spend and comparing with the pass. It's going to pass as actual and predicted. It's going to calculate difference. You can see that for your model, the values, the mean square error value for the class is higher as compared to the mean square values for Poison and ANOVA models. The, the values for ANOVA and Poison are very close, but to the fourth digit, Poison is lesser as compared to ANOVA. That, that doesn't matter. You can, you can choose any model from ANOVA or Poison to suit your data. Time for some hands-on exercise. Hands-on exercise number 12. It's an extension of hands-on number 11. Implement regression tree model using different methods, which we discussed. The three methods using various predictor variables. Go on adding one predictor at a time, age, income, auto loan indicator, gender, and marital status and find out mean square error and see which model suits the best. Thank you for watching.